I think we all have that uh, curiosity of what our pets get up to when when we leave. Um, and this this movie does a great job of of sort of um, fantasizing about that. What our animals, you know, throwing parties for each other and uh, listening to rock and roll music and doing all kinds of stuff. I th I think when people see it, that that it's just going to make them love their their pets even more. Duke is a big shaggy, hairy, Newfoundland mutt dog, um, you know, and he, he sort of comes off as one thing, but really he's sort of like, I think we all do, you know, just being a little, little protective of, of, of what's really going on. And, um, you know, he, 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 he tries to, uh, dominate Max at first and you don't really know why he's doing that, but you, f you figure out why he's doing it. He's just like, every dog in a new environment he's a little scared he's a little nervous and he's trying to figure out where he fits in into the into the the dynamic of the family i don't blame max for being upset that that duke comes in max had a really good good thing going there a uh, great lush apartment in new york city with an owner and no distractions and then here i come they go on a full on adventure in the streets of of new york city trying to uh you know get back home essentially is what it is and along the way they get themselves into all kinds of you know crazy antics and uh, it's really like a, a a ride if you will you know I, I when I saw the screening I saw the movie myself that's what it felt like is I was on an, some sort of an amusement park ride on the strapped on the back of a dog you know just seeing New York City through the eyes of them and and uh, you know they end up in a sausage factory they end up in uh, the back of a of a uh, dog catcher's truck. Uh, they end up in a real dark place under the streets in New York City and uh, the alleys, uh, the back alleys, and dealing with some pretty seedy characters, some cats. Um, you know, they just have a full on adventurous New York City day. I think one in which when people see it would be, will be pretty jealous and think like, wow, I'd, I'd like to have a day out in New York like that. Duke likes, is a little nervous of Snowball in the beginning, but then, you know, Snowball kind of comes to, to save, save the day. So I think at the end, uh, you know, I think that's sort of what the, also the, you know, the little sort of spine and nice quality of the movie is, is that you never know where friends are going to come from. And I think it's a lesson for all of us. Uh, you never know what your best pal might look like when you meet him. You got to be open to it. And, um, you know, Duke, Duke and Max didn't know they would end up, you know, best buddies. And uh, Max eventually opened his heart and mind, and Duke opened his heart and mind. And then all of a sudden, you've got little dog and big dog as friends. And then you throw Snowball in. It's a, it's a great, it's a great trio. You're always looking for something new to challenge yourself. I mean, that's the, you know, sort of what makes you want to be an actor to begin with is to be challenged creatively. Um, and in this case, you know, it really forces you to use your imagination. When I was a little kid, I think I had a pretty, pretty vivid, strong imagination. And I didn't know that I wanted to be an actor when I was a little kid. But there's no doubt that that uh, imagination had something to do with my desire to perform and to entertain. So with, with uh, animation, it really forces you to kind of go back to where it all started. And that is using your imagination. Because, you know, on the set of my TV show, when somebody talks about a cup, or a bowl or whatever, I have the cup or the bowl in my hand or the set and I can see actors. Uh, here it's just written on a page, so I have to kind of see it in my own head and understand what it means that, that Duke is in a cart going through a sausage factory or what I have to imagine in my own brain of what it means when Duke you know, falls down a sewer drain or whatever. It is, so it's, it's challenging and it's also exciting at the same time, it's exhilarating, it's, it's honestly freeing. I'm excited for people to go and, and connect on, I think, what we, most of us all connect on universally, and that's the love we have for animals and uh, the commitment we make to uh, animals and, and what joy they, they bring us. It's really a celebration of that relationship.